Have you ever had that feeling where there just isn't enough hours in a day and you get overwhelmed with all the things that need to be done? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you my top tips on how you can get more shit done. So my first tip is to get yourself a digital calendar such as Google Calendars or iCal if you're using Apple. Um, basically somewhere you can check your schedule from your phone or your laptop anywhere around the world so you know exactly what you're doing at what time. And the reason you wanna do this is because what gets measured gets managed and you're gonna be measuring your time by putting a few things in it. Now one of these things is called your non-negotiable time. Now I call this uh, my get shit done time and it ranges from 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. Working in the job, the police or the NHS, you might not wanna do that long. You might wanna do two hours or three hours, but basically this time is protected time. No one steals away your agenda, so my team and family know not to contact me within this time unless it's an emergency. Now I convert my, uh, converse with my team um, in the mornings generally anyway because we have sales meetings um, and, and kind of operations meetings. Um, but basically, if I've got that time blocked out, then not to contact me or give me any workloads or anything else that I need to be doing unless it is an emergency or there's a deadline for it. Um, so just like brushing your teeth or going in the shower, uh, it's non-negotiable, it must get done. And these things are gonna have the biggest overall impact on your business. It's gonna change your life, it's gonna move your business to the next gear, and ultimately, you're gonna be able to get more shit done in the same amount of time. So the next tip is to remove distraction by making sure you're turning all notifications off on your social media. Social media can be the biggest distraction in your life. And in business, as an entrepreneur, I believe you should be using it as a tool. So what I mean by this, I wrote about this in my book as well. If you're a singer and uh, you don't have your microphone, you don't have your speakers, there's only about 200 people that could you know, probably hear you. Um, but if you do have your microphone and your speakers, then the whole, you know, the whole stadium can hear you. And that's what social media is like. You know, you will be, you know, stretching your message, you're getting your content out there, it's reaching more people, ultimately creating more exposure for your business. And what I find people doing is scrolling through Instagram or uh, Facebook, just aimlessly drifting, liking, sharing shitty videos that's nothing to do with their business, just to get the like. Uh, or social approval, but that in itself has a damaging effect on your productivity and you moving your business, ultimately changing your life. And for those who say, yeah, but I like to stay connected with, you know, friends and family, call them. You know, before social media, what did you do then? You call people, right? You probably text them, you call them, do the same now. Stop aimlessly drifting around, watching cat videos or sharing funny videos, and instead use it as a tool because it's amazingly powerful. And by eliminating distraction, you're gonna get more shit done in the same amount of time. So next is setting up your environment to win. Now what I mean by this, I'm sitting in my office where I spend most of my days, and behind the camera, you can't see this, but I've got quotes on my board, uh, sorry, on my wall that inspire me, um, entrepreneurial, um, people that I inspire to be like, and also uh, a really cool thing that's basically an optician's board where you know the letters start off big and then you test your eyes as the letters go smaller. Well, this says uh, you should be working now. Um, also, I have a wristband that I wear when I'm getting shit done. So this is the company logo, but also, um, and if you can see that, it says get shit done. These are things we give to our to clients as well. Also, I have my phone wallpaper that says uh, whatever it takes and also is the same on my laptop. Um, and also I have every single name of our cohort community. So ex and seven police officers, members of the NHS, nurses are on my whiteboard. And the reason for that, just like the people and the entrepreneurs on my wall, is that I wanna surround myself with greatness. You know, people who are inspiring, people who are stretching themselves, people who are achieving goals, people are starting to grab life by the balls or have grab life by the balls and doing amazing things in the entrepreneurial space. Um, and also I have a vision board. Uh, I have my vision board. I think it's very important for your mindset, something where you want to aspire to, where you want your life to be. Um, so that's to my right hand side as well. Um, and yeah, these things, they motivate me, they inspire me to make sure I'm being laser focused if I am distracted by anything else. 
Next is managing your calendar or email inbox. So for me, I do not manage my calendar. I don't manage my email inbox. Um, I have someone who does that for me. So any emails that are non-urgent, they don't need my time, um, basically things that can be just sorted by someone else, um, that is sorted by someone else. Um, if it is required my time, then um, the person who manages my email inbox will pop it into um, a certain folder for me to action at a later date. And also when it comes to managing my calendar, I make sure that you know if people want my time or they wanna book in a call with me or they want to you know, interview me or whatever it may be, that that's been handled by someone else because it essentially it's appointment booking. Um, so these things don't require my time and also it'll free up a lot of headspace when you're not trawling through your emails and it is the nicest thing going to your email inbox every morning, just knowing that it's clear and you don't need to trawl through lots and lots of emails just to find there are probably one or two emails that do need your attention. Next, cleaning and gardening. Now, um, I delegate these things as really, I should not be focusing on cleaning and gardening. And to be honest, I freaking hate cleaning and gardening. Um, so what I do, I hire someone to do my cleaning, um, they come in regularly to my house, they'll you know give it a good scrub, they'll clean what's necessary. Um, and yeah, it's been a massive help, it frees up time. Um, I don't need to stress when I walk around the house that this is dirty or that's dirty, um, you know, because it, it's all been done by someone else. Um, they let themselves in, they come and go, um, and it's been a great, powerful way of actually not worrying about little things such as cleaning. Um, also, when it comes to gardening, um, I'll be honest with you, <laughs> DIY gardening, not my forte whatsoever. So when the grass is long or um, you know something needs doing, like a poop pick, because I've got two little dash hounds who you know, poo constantly, um, that is done by someone else. Um, I don't want to do it, I don't like doing it, so why would I spend my time doing it? Um, and it's quite easy to get caught in the trap of thinking, yeah, but this costs money, Alex, you know, cost how much does it cost? Well, for me, it costs about you know, 20 pound for the cleaner to clean the house, uh, and also it costs about, uh, I think about, 10 pound or 15 pound for the gardener um, and yeah that costs money but actually I'm not focusing on what it costs I'm actually focused on the time it frees up so I can actually use that money sorry that time to focus on income generating activities which I can assure you is much bigger than the time uh, spent um, or money spent um, paying for a gardener or um, you know a cleaner for my house. So highly recommend it. Don't stress about the little things such as cleaning and gardening. Get it out of your head and delegate these things to someone else who's probably better at doing it than you. And lastly, a powerful tool is to write down the things you need to do the day before you do them. Now, there's nothing worse when you're lying in bed and all these ideas or the things you need to do are just floating around, which ultimately disrupts your sleep. So I'm a big believer that getting these things down on paper in the books um, really helps you to remove that kind of um, worry or anxiety out of your out of kind of your, your mindset. Um, so what I do, I leave a notepad next to my bed and also um, before I kind of close down for the day, I kind of shut down and start, you know, um, you know, have a glass of gin, I'll make sure that I am um, writing the things that down I need to do um, the next day. Now these could be tasks that need to be done on the day or little things that have popped in my head throughout the day. It's on paper, I'm not going to forget about it and also that frees up a lot of um, headspace um, and ultimately decision making because you know the more decisions we make in a day um, the more mental fatigue we have which ultimately affects the productivity we have throughout the day. So getting those things out on paper really really uh, a great tool for getting the most out of your day and getting shit done. So that's it, that's my top tips for getting more shit done in the same amount of time. And that's a very valid point. You know, myself and you watching this have the same 24 hours in a day. The billionaire and the broke person, they have the same 24 hours in a day. And when people say they haven't got the time to do things, number one, they're either saying it's not a priority for them, or number two, they're not managing their time effectively. However, by watching this video, I hope you can now get more shit done and ultimately get more business success going forward. Thanks for watching, and if you did like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one.